The creation kit doesn't need much of an introduction. It's the official modding utility used to create things from new cities to terminal entries. It can, however, also be used to add personal touches to our favorite mods, as well as to remove bits and pieces from them to improve game performance or to make them compatible with another mod that affects similar things. In this tutorial, we will learn how to properly install the creation kit, as well as some first-time setup steps in preparation to begin creating. Here we will discuss what we need to acquire the CK. If you don't own the game, then you will not be able to get the CK, at least not a properly working version. If you have yet to install the game, you may benefit from watching our Fallout 4 installation and settings guide. During the initial download, the CK will require that you log in to your Bethesda.net account to complete the installation. You will be able to create an account during the installation process if needed. Navigate to thecreationkit.com. Select Fallout 4. Within the Install the Creation Kit paragraph, select the Bethesda.net Launcher link. The launcher will download to your default download location. Next, launch the Bethesda.net Launcher executable. Agree to Run and Select Next for all options. When asked to select the destination location, you can choose anywhere that you like as this isn't the actual creation kit. I simply choose the default location. Select Next twice, select Install, select Finish to launch the launcher. The first time setup window will take a couple of moments to prepare itself. When the login window opens, sign in to your Bethesda.net account or create one if need be. The account creation process is quick and simple, it shouldn't take more than a minute or two. On the page that you are brought to, select the green creation kit icon at the far left. When the creation kit window opens, select Install, acknowledge and accept the terms. Choose a folder to install the creation kit to. The game folder should automatically be detected and I recommend that you install the CK to it. Once you have established the installation path, select install. Once installed, select play from the launcher window and the creation kit will launch. If you receive a number of security pop-up windows, and you most likely will, select yes to and agree to all of them. Eventually, a script source extraction window will open. Select yes to unpack them. This is done so that you can view, edit, and create scripts based on the official ones if desired. Even if you don't plan on viewing them, I would recommend that you unpack them anyways as they may be needed for unseen processes. On my system, it took about 2 minutes for the files to unpack. Once unpacked, the creation kit will open. Resize the windows. The first thing that you will want to do is adjust the CK windows. These are what you will be working with when creating, tweaking, and patching mods via the CK. Eventually, you will discover what works best for you, but for now, just place the windows in a way that makes sense. Once you have done so, close the CK. The windows position should remain where you place them when relaunching. Basic any file setup. Just like the games themselves, the CK has its own INI files. For reasons unknown to me, by default, the CK only allows you to create mods using a single master file. If you try to use more than one plugin as a master, you will receive an error, the window will close, and you will have to reselect the single plugin. We will fix that now. Enable multiple masters. Navigate to where you installed the CK. Locate and open the Creation Kit INI. Under the General section, add the setting. B. Allow multiple master loads equals 1. When you have done so, close and save the INI file. Prepare for mod testing. By default, the game does not allow you to use mods or loose file assets. This is an issue not only for trying to play a modded game, but also for testing mods that you are creating. To fix this, navigate to the Operating System Drive Letter, Users, Your User Account Name, Documents, My Games, Fallout 4. Open the Fallout 4 INI. Within the Archive section, either change the lines to what will be shown if they exist, or add them if they do not. B. Invalidate Older Files equals 1. And S. Resource Data Durs Final equals, with the value being left blank. When finished, close and save the INI file. 
You can also, and or instead, add these lines to the Fallout 4 custom any if you have created one or care to create one. I don't bother with it, as doing what is shown works just fine, but that's your choice to make. Create a shortcut. While it may seem obvious to some, I assure you that it is not for all. If using the CK often, and many will, you will want to be able to access it quickly. From the game folder, or wherever you chose to install the CK, right-click the creation kit executable. Send it to your desktop. If you use the CK for Skyrim, rename the shortcut as the icons are identical. I name mine FO4CK. Failed to launch. Some users have had issues with the CK crashing when trying to launch it. Here are some steps that have remedied the issue for some. The auto shortcut is broke. During installation, you may have selected to create a shortcut instead of when we did in this guide. Some have reported that the shortcut created during installation was broken. Simply delete the shortcut that you already have and make a new one as shown in the previous step. Run as admin. Right-click the shortcut. Open properties. Open the compatibility tab. Within settings, activate the checkbox. Run this program as an administrator. Select apply. Select OK. Folder creation mistake. If the CK was working previously but has since stopped, navigate to the game folder. Open data, open scripts. If you have placed any self-made folders here, delete them. Do not touch anything that you did not personally create. Misplaced PSC files. Still in the scripts folder, look to see if there are any files that end with the extension .psc. If you cannot see file extensions, view the video linked in the description to see how to turn them on. Move any and every file ending with PSC to the source folder that you see within scripts, as that is where they are supposed to be located. Old Operating System If using an older operating system, you may need to launch the CK in compatibility mode. Go back to and right-click the shortcut. Open Properties. Open the Compatibility tab. Activate the checkbox for Run this program in compatibility mode 4 and then select the appropriate option from the drop-down menu or just try them all. Launch from game folder. Last but not least, some have mentioned that when all else has failed, they simply had to run the original launcher, not a shortcut, from the game folder and as an administrator. You can also try to apply the compatibility steps here if needed. Hopefully, if any of you have been having issues, one of these steps has helped. This has been a Gamer Poets tutorial, the Fallout 4 creation kit, installation, and initial setup. If any of you have felt that this tutorial was too fast, a link to the text version, as well as to lots of other helpful information, are in the description. I'd like to give a big thank you to DarkFox127 for all of the creation kit tutorials he has created over the years, helping out a large number of us, including myself. A thank you to Steve40 for his comments left in the Nexus forum, to Fading Signal and Manga Club, as well as Anamorphous for verifying some information for me. And of course, the biggest thank you to all of you here watching. If it wasn't for you folks, I would have no need or reason to create these videos. Thank you for your time, and as always, I am Michael of Gamer Poets. Thank you for watching.